Hello. <clears throat> so, like I said in my uh, Calpen video review a while ago, I'm going to try doing some more of these, like, smaller reviews and just uploading them and seeing how well they do and how much you guys like them. Uh, and it's mostly just going to be for book series that I don't have all that much to say about, and I don't think the reviews for them are in that demand, are all much, they don't, there's not much demand for it. <laughs> so, uh, this time I'm talking about the Configured Trilogy, which was all right. You know, it was... It, it, I found out about this one because a couple of months ago when I reviewed the Halo trilogy, I asked people for some suggestions on, like, really, really bad uh, dystopian young adult novels. And one of them was The Testing, which I already put out my whole long review of that. Uh, and the other one, or another one, was The Configured Trilogy, which, like I said, I just, I think it's okay. You know, it, that, compared to, like, The Testing and Partials... It's kind of interesting to me, because they're all basically following a very similar formula, and Partials changes it up a little, but the other two do not. However, at the same time, Partials does that formula really well, and so that's a good book series. Uh, the testing does it really, really poorly, and so it's a horrible book series, and uh, Configured does it decently, and so it's a decent book series. Like, it, even though they're all following a lot of the same tropes and cliches, it's it's kind of interesting, but... Yeah, uh, you pretty much already know the setup and the story for this one. There's a teenage girl named Avalyn Lark who is just finishing school and going into adulthood. She lives in uh, <clears throat> an, uh, a place with an evil government after a massive disaster wiped out most of the human population. And then later she finds out about the government really being evil, joins up with some rebels, and so on and so forth. Like, you pretty much know exactly where it goes from there. It, it's predictable, but it's also uh, cozy. I think is a good word for it. Like, if you're looking for that type of story, I think, yeah, you, you would enjoy this just fine. Like, the villains were sufficiently evil that I wanted to see them gone. That's good. The heroes were not particularly deep or interesting in a lot of ways, but they were they were fine characters. It wasn't like a lot of stuff where uh, I just wanted everyone to die because the heroes are so annoying or they're terrible people or something like that. You know? <clears throat> so that's... That's a good sign. Uh, the main character, Avalyn Lark, is, again, not amazing, but she does at least grow and develop over the course of the story, which I think is good. Um, I don't have any, like, major uh, complaints about this, or rather, I don't have any major uh, praises about this, other than one thing which I thought was kind of neat. So, in this world, uh, Avalyn and a lot of other people have, like, their emotions suppressed a lot, so at the beginning of the story, which is narrated in first person by Avalyn, uh, she tends to n not only act kind of emotionless when she can, but she also describes things in a kind of a stiff and robotic manner. And at first I thought it was just crappy writing, but after uh, a while it starts to change, and as Avalyn opens up more and changes more, she tends to use a bit more uh, colorful language when describing things and goes into more detail about it. And I really liked that. That was really cool. It was both extremely subtle and extremely... Uh, interesting like it's, it's a neat way of uh showcasing that so i i thought that was pretty cool uh, as for complaints i only have like two big ones uh one being that we find out and this is a minor spoiler but we find out relatively early on that avalyn has this weird ability to immerse with technology which means she can like go into computers and move the code around it, it it's like she's in vr or something when she's uh hacking and changing code and making programs and stuff it's it's kind of silly i'll be honest like at the beginning it seemed like she was just a really good programmer and a really good hacker and i kind of liked that because you know it's a useful skill to have but then it, it introduced that power and i don't know that was just a little silly to me uh the other one being that so this this series definitely came out at the tail end of the dystopian ya craze and so because of that the worlds that they take place in and the reasons for them having a dystopian government were just getting sillier and sillier and in this one it falls into the category which i actually saw several examples of of uh, uh the government's evil because it doesn't allow you to have emotions and th there's two subcategories of this there's one where uh which is what configured falls into where you're not allowed to feel any emotions whatsoever it's all bad and uh, uh the other one being that you're just not allowed to feel love and marriages are arranged and stuff like that, like in uh, Matched is a good example. And I'm willing to give a pass to the ones about arranged marriages because 
one, arranged marriages were just kind of the norm for most of human uh, history until recently. And two, you could kind of look at it as a metaphor for gay rights. So I'm willing to give those a pass, but the ones where all emotions are suppressed are just kind of dumb. Like, no society has ever worked that way. <clears throat> and it's not really criticizing anything about the real world, I don't think. So it, it just felt silly and stupid. Uh, and so because of that, the dystopian world just didn't make much sense. It's similar to the testing in that regard, which, again, if you haven't seen it, go watch that video of mine. It's, it's pretty good. It's fun. Uh, but <laughs> oh, but it did give us that opportunity to have the narration change to showcase uh, Avalon's change as well, which I thought was good. So overall, if you're looking for that type of story, I think you could do a lot worse than Configure. It's a fun little series. So I don't know. Go, go check it out if you want to. Bye.